हेलो एवरीवन फॉर द कोर्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अंडर दिस लेसन नंबर फाइव द डिफरेंट टर्म्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम so the this lesson and its contents are been designed with an objective to understand the different terms used in the context of environmental management system in this lesson we are going to cover these definitions the first one is environmental management system then its environmental aspect environmental impact risk and opportunities environmental objectives and compliance obligations now let's discuss these terms one by one environmental management system it is been defined as a part of management system any organization has a management system which is used for running of all of its operations so environmental management systems becomes a part of that overall management system this system is used to manage environmental aspects environmental aspects are nothing but element of an organization's activities products or services that interact or can interact with the environment so organizations activities products and services when they interact with the different environmental elements they create some effect they bring certain change to the environment now whether that change is positive or negative when that change is brought about we call the cause for that change as an aspect so environmental management system it's a part of management system which is used to manage its environmental aspects and to fulfill the compliance obligations compliance obligations are nothing but the legal requirements which are applicable to any organization as well as some other requirements which have been considered by that organization so part of environmental management system used to manage environmental aspects fulfill compliance obligations and to address the risk and opportunities which are in context with the environmental management system this is how environmental management system is been defined the second definition or the second term is environmental aspect so it is the elements of an organization's activities products and services environmental aspect means organization's activity product or service or it could be the elements of these activities products and services which interact with the environment say for example we have got one transportation agency as an organization now when they carry out their activity of transportation suppose they are using vehicles for transportation of goods so because of the vehicle movement uh, fuel is consumed and because of which emissions are caused so because of the running of vehicles the emissions are caused so in this particular case transportation activity running of the vehicles is called as an aspect and the respective impact is the emissions to air which will cause the air pollution the third definition is subsequent to the environmental aspect is environmental impact the change to environment whether adverse or beneficial here we are considering both kind of changes some of the activities which lead to cause negative impact whereas some of the activities which can cause positive impact consumption of natural resources consumption of fuel consumption of electricity 
Now, these activities lead to cause negative impacts in terms of emissions, in terms of waste generation. Whereas, some of the activities such as use of solar panels, use of non-conventional energy means, these lead to cause positive impact to the environment. So, any change which is brought to the environment which is adverse or beneficial, which might be resulting from the whole organization. For any organization, electricity consumption is a usual thing. It is required for all of its operations, for all of its departments. So, this is get applicable, this is applicable to the entire organization. Or some of the operations, let us consider for an industry, a manufacturing process with which a wastewater gets generated. Now, wastewater generation impact or this change is applicable or is related to this manufacturing process only. Hence, the change can be brought from the whole of the organization or it could be resulting from the partial operations of the organizations. So, which are resulting from organization's environmental aspect. That is what is called as environmental impact. Now, when this environmental aspects and impacts are understood, we need to understand the further effect of these resulting into whether it is a risk or opportunity. Usually, the negative effects adverse effects are termed as a risk. Whereas, when we find an opportunity for improvement in environmental performance, it is called as an opportunity. So, suppose we find that from a manufacturing process, a wastewater generation takes place. So, more the resources used, conventional approaches are used, wastewater generation will be more. On the contrary, we get an opportunity in this particular case, like are we able to reuse that wastewater? Are we able to recycle that wastewater so that fresh water requirement can be reduced? So, this opportunity is reflected through this risk itself. So, usually the risks are associated with the negative impacts whereas positive impacts are associated with reference to the opportunities. In line with these definitions, the next term comes that is called as environmental objective. An environmental objective set by organization which shall be consistent with the environmental policy. So, environmental policy is nothing but organization-wide objectives stated with reference to environmental performance. Now, these objectives can be applicable to the entire organization. Related to this environmental policy statement or objective, a particular objective can be taken with reference to a function, with reference to an activity. Such objective is called as environmental objective. Care has to be taken by setting this environmental objective that it shall be consistent with the environmental policy. The next term is of compliance obligations. As I discussed earlier, it consists of legal and other requirements. For an organization, for an industry, there are certain legal requirements which are mandatory applicable to the organization. So, in environmental context, the legal requirements which are applicable related to the consumption of natural resources, the quantities of waste generation, the discharge standards, emission standards which are to be fulfilled, all these come under the legal requirement which are to be fulfilled by the organization. In addition to these legal requirements, some voluntarily accepted requirements could be there, 
by the organization, those fall under these other requirements. Say for example, use of non-conventional energy means, use of environmental best practices. Now, these could be some voluntarily taken requirements other than these legal requirements. So, those requirements which are voluntarily taken are called as other requirements. These legal and other requirements are required to be specified by the organization in the planning stage of environmental management system. So, this is the last definition from this lesson. We will continue the rest part in the next session. Thank you very much.